Hello, my name is Lindsay Williams and welcome to Endeavor Wellness Yoga. Today we are continuing our tour of the beautiful parks of Kansas City, Missouri. We are at the Robert H. Hodge Park in the Northland. It's gorgeous out here. They even have a golf course. Super fancy. Today we're going to be doing an advanced practice. It's going to be fun. We're going to do Kundinyasana 1, Kundinyasana 2, throw in Ashvakrasana, and I'm if I'm filling up for it, I might even do Vashisasana. I haven't decided, but we'll see. If you like this video, please remember to like, share, and or subscribe to my channel. And please join me at the top of your mats. Find a comfortable seated position on your mat. Sitting in Vajrasana. Let's begin by bringing our awareness to our bodies. Gently rocking our torso front and back, shifting the weight between our shins and our ankles. Feeling the weight in our legs, feeling our hands resting on top of our thighs, rolling our shoulders back, softening our ribs in, relaxing the muscles in our face reaching out through the top of our heads, extending tall, stilling our movements as we find a comfortable stillness. And as we sit, let's now bring our attention to our breath. Taking five deep breaths, Inhaling for a count of five, exhaling for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Completing the last breath at your own pace. Inhaling your arms up overhead. Exhaling them down to your heart center. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Embracing the sky. Exhale, bringing your hands down to your heart center. Open up your eyes. Hello, welcome. All right, let's go ahead and start by warming up our shoulders, rolling our shoulders back. One two, three, and forward, one, two, three. Take our right hand, extend overhead, grabbing the left ear, gentle traction. You can even nod your head back and forth and releasing. Same thing, other side, nodding back and forth. Saying yes to this yoga practice. And releasing, allowing your head to drop down to your chest. Looking to the right, and then looking to the left. Again, looking to the right, and looking to the left. Rolling your shoulders back as you lift that head up, wonderful. Extending your chest through your shoulders, concaving, your spine, curling your spine, bringing your belly button to your spine, and then extending your heart through your shoulders, and then curl your spine, 
extend and curling your spine. So we're doing cat and cow motions here in this Vajrasana before we even get down to all fours of doing it. Just slowly warming up our spine. If you want, you even rotate your torso like so, clockwise and counterclockwise, just warming things up before we get started. Let's warm up our wrists, moving them clockwise and then counterclockwise. All right, if you want, open up those shoulders just a little bit more. Just follow what I'm doing. All right, let's go ahead and move to all fours. We're gonna inhale cow, exhale cat, inhale cow, exhale cat, inhale cow, exhale cat. Coming down into your puppy pose, just your arms straight overhead. Open up that chest. A little back bend, this is our first mini back bend of the practice. Mm, keeping those arms straight, pressing all 10 knuckles or all 10 fingers into the ground, press your palms into the ground as hard as you can, bending those arms, bring your hips down to the ground into sphinx, pulling your heart through your shoulders, inhaling and exhaling, engaging your belly here. So you don't dump it to your low back. And then push back into that puppy pose. Mm. And bring it back into Sphinx. And into puppy pose. Wonderful. Coming back to all fours. Let's warm up our core just a little bit. Picking up your knees, tucking those toes, coming into our first plank. Just shifting back and forth. Warming up those wrists just a little bit more. Go ahead and lift that left leg off the ground and hold. Three, two, one. Strong work. Building some heat here. Lift up the right leg, holding three, two, one. Excellent job. Same thing, left leg. This time, bring it across to your, um, that's your elbow. <laughs> Your right elbow holding three, two, one, and then out to the side holding, building some heat. Three, two, one, and back down. Wonderful. Shift your weight a little bit. Taking that right leg, bringing it across, holding three, two, one, and out to the side. Three, two, one, and back. Pushing back to downward dog. I'm feeling it. Did you guys feel that? I felt it. First down dog of the practice. You can walk your dog just a little bit. Feeling the stretch in the sides of your body. Look to your hands. You can jump, step, or float up, whichever you prefer. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up overhead. Samas Titihi. All right, let's go ahead and keep warming up. Let's do three sun salutation A's. So that's Surya Namaskar A. So inhale your arms up. Exhale, hinging at your hips for full Uttanasana. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, plank. Lower down, Charanga. If you notice, my arms are at a 90 degree angle. My shoulders do not dip below my elbows. Inhale, coming up. This is Adho Mukha Sonasana, upper dog, pushing back. I'm sorry, that was Urdhva. Urdhva Mukha Sonasana, this is Adho Mukha Sonasana. Down dog, holding here. Three, two, one, look to your hands. Step, jump, or float. Inhale, fly back. Exhale, forward float, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms all the way up overhead. Samas DT he inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale 
Mmm. That was delicious, wasn't it? You just flow in that um, sun salutation. Holding here for three more breaths. Three, two, one. Look to your hands, float, step, or jump. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, super arms all the way overhead. Samasitihi. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, charanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Downward dog. Building up that heat, getting ready for that practice. Mm. Holding. Three, two, one. Look to your hands. Inhale, step, jump, or float. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way overhead. Summer's so to here. All right, let's do some um, a variation on um, sun salutation B or Surinaraskari B. So we're gonna inhale, chair pose. Exhale, slide dive forward, forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, take a step back, plank, charanga. Inhale. Exhale, sweep that right leg up. We're gonna open up that hip, fill in that stretch, bend that knee. And three-legged dog. And then sweep that leg through, inhaling up. Warrior one, exhale. Frame that foot, step back, plank. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Sweep that leg up and back. Open up that hip and bend that knee. Bend that stretch in your hip here. Bringing that leg through, inhaling up. Warrior one, exhale, frame that foot. Plank charanga, inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Holding here. Three more breaths here. Three, two, one. Look to your hands. Step, jump, or float. Remember, this is your practice. If you want to stick in some handstands, go for it. I'm not stopping you. Bend those knees. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, samasitihi. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Sweep the leg up, overhead. Go ahead and now flip that dog. Wow thing. Sweep it back through. Fallen angle. Triangle, some kind of angle. <laughs> Sweep that leg back up, bring it through, warrior one. Exhale, bring it down, plank charanga, inhale. Exhale, left leg, slip that leg all the way through, bend that knee, flip your dog. Wild thing. Plant that hand back on the ground. Sweep that leg through. Fall in triangle. Sweep that back leg back through. Up. Bring it through. Warrior one. Coming down. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. Holding here. Three more breaths. Three, two, one. Inhale, look to your hands. You're gonna step, jump, or float. Inhale, flat back. Four fold. Bend those knees. Arms overhead. Salmas Titihi. Let's do one more, okay? Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, take a step back. Plank Charanga. Inhale. Exhale. This time we're gonna shift our weight into our right hand. Moving in Vashti Sasana. I know you guys love this pose. Bringing that arm, that leg up overhead. Holding. And bring it down into a lunge. Inhaling up, warrior one. Exhale. Frame that foot. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Shift your weight to that left hand. Excuse my backside. Grabbing that big toe. Vashti Sasana. Three, two, one. Bend that knee. Bring that leg down. Low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, plank, charanga. Inhale. Exhale. Coming here, down dog, holding for five breaths. Two, and one. Look to your hands, you're gonna inhale and step, jump, or float. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees, chair pose. And exhale, Samas Titi. Strong work, guys. Come to the middle of your mat. Roll those shoulders back, getting ready for our next flow. We're gonna step that, shift our weight into our right leg. We're gonna inhale, arms up, overhead. Leaning forward, lifting that back leg up, coming into warrior three. Holding here, three, two, one. Opening those arms. Holding here, three. So this is um, half moon pose, Ardha Chardasana, in case you're wondering. Two, one, bend that standing knee. Drop that leg down to the ground in the back. Warrior two, reverse. Coming all the way through into side angle. Lower those hands down to the ground. Pick that back heel off the ground in the back. Move into a deep lunge here. Even drop your elbows down to the ground in the lizard pose. Shifting, I like to shift my weight back and forth here. It really helps me open up that leg, open up that hip. Go ahead and imagine you are putting your leg on your shoulder like a backpack. And you can stay here, or if you want to go ahead and move into an arm balance, shift your weight into your right hand. Let your right foot come off the ground. Extend that leg. Holding here. Three, two, one, and releasing. Putting that foot down the ground, low lunge. Pick up that back foot and push. Push against it, and you find as you do that, it's really gonna help you lengthen right here in your quads. Holding here, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Strong work, push back, half Hanuman, or half split. Holding here, and then this half split, you're flexing your foot towards your face, sticking your butt out. Think about bowing down over that front leg as much as you can, keeping that back flat. Three, two, one. Wonderful, coming up to that lunge. Pick up that back foot, step. Meet your foot in the back, lower down, charanga. Inhale, exhale. Holding here for three breaths. Look to your hands, you're gonna step, jump, or float. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Sweep those arms all the way up overhead. Sama Sitihi. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? But I'm gonna face this way. So I'm gonna show my back to you. So inhale those arms up, sweep that right leg back to the back now. Warrior three, holding three, 
two, one, open up, and to that half moon, Adho Chandrasana, three. You guys look great out there, I already know. You guys are looking wonderful. Two, one, bending that standing leg, step that foot back behind you, warrior two, reverse. Windmill those arms down to that side angle, and all the way down to the ground into that low lunge. Coming all the way down to lizard, if you'd like. I like to shift my weight back and forth, really opening up my hip here. I'm going to come a little bit forward on my mat. Go ahead, if you want to give this arm balance a try, put your leg on your shoulder like a backpack. You're going to shift your weight into that left hand. Left that left leg, come off the ground and open up here, holding three, two, one, and releasing. Go ahead and go into that low lunge, picking up that right foot in the back and pushing against your hand. Feeling it open up in this quad right here. Wonderful push back, half moon or half splits. Really think about flexing your foot towards your face, bowing down over that front leg, sticking that booty out. Three, two, one. Wonderful. Go back into that low lunge, pick up that knee, step that foot back, shift forward, slower down. Try it on your inhale. Exhale. Let's catch our breaths here for three breaths. Three, two, one. Look to those hands. You're going to step, jump, or float. Inhale, flat back. Four fold. Sweep those arms all the way overhead. All right. In the spirit of arm balances, we're going to do some more. Before we do that, let's just open up those hips here. So come into a wide-legged stance, putting your hands on your knees, twisting here, open up that spine, shifting your weight between your feet, forward fold, Prasuta Padottanasana A. Inhale, coming halfway up, hands on your hips. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, grab. Clasp those hands behind you. Forward fold. Prasirita Parotanasana C. Shift your weight into the balls of your feet. Lay your hands dangle as far down to the ground as you can. As you can. And coming up. Wonderful. All right, let's come to the top of our mats, moving into some more fun arm balances. We're going into Kundiyasana 1, moving directly into Kundiyasana 2, and then Asta Vakrasana. And I'm going to walk you through it, okay? Um, I want you to keep in mind as we're moving from 1 to 2 of the Kundiyasana. Let's think about you're going to switch your knee on that arm, okay? So watch me. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to the side, and twist, 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 coming down into this to squatted position here. I'm going to start in Twisted Crow, or Parivrita Bakasana. Hands down on the mat, and you don't want your arm up towards your knee. You want it as far towards your hip as possible. Plant those hands, and you're going to pick your feet off the ground and lift your butt, your booty up. This is your side crow. You're going to extend those legs. Extend, extend. Three, two, one. This is that Kundiyasana one. Now we're going to switch knees. Put the other knee on that arm. Kundiyasana two. Three, two, one. Push up. You can do it. Push up, push up. You can do it. Sweep that back leg through, thread it through, hook those feet. Asta Vakrasana. Hold here, three, two, one, and release. Wow, that was challenging, but it was fun. 
Let's go ahead and grab that leg. Move into compass pose since we're here already. Feeling the stretch here, releasing. Move into gate pose, aparigasana. See if you can grab those toes if you can and look up towards the sky. Holding here. Three more breaths. Three, two, one, and releasing. You guys did wonderful. It was beautiful. I already know. Let's do a Baddha Konasana here. Try to open those, those hips as much as you can. Open up your feet like a pages of a book. Strong work, guys. Let's come back into our vinyasa plank. Charanga. Inhale. Exhale. Step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Samasitihi. Let's do the same on the same thing on the other side. So inhale, those arms up. Exhale. Down to your heart center. Doing a twist here. And then lower down to the squat position. Lower, 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 lower. Want an elevator going down. Place those hands on the ground. We don't want this arm to be up here. We want to be as close to our hip as possible, okay? Plant those hands. Going to this twisted side crow. Side crow. Open up. Kundiyasana one. Three, two, one. Bring it through. Switch knees. Kundiyasana two. Three. Two, one, push up. You can do it. You can do it. Thread that leg through. Lower into that asavakrasana. Three, two, one, lower down. Strong work, guys. Grab that leg. Hold here. Compass pose. That was fun and challenging. I'm glad you guys did it with me. Take that hand, reach it over, gate pose, Padagasana. <sighs> Holding here. Three more breaths. And release. Let's go ahead and do a wide leg at four fold this time. Open up those legs as wide as you can. <sighs> Walk those hands out, forward fold. And go ahead and come up, strong work guys. Let's go ahead and do vinyasa to reset things. Plank, chaturanga, inhale, exhale. We're gonna step up to our hands, inhale flat back. Exhale, forward fold, and we'll sweep our arms all the way over. Samastihi. Okay, now you know we cannot finish yoga practice without some back bending. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I know it's important, so we're going to do it. Okay, so back bending, or Urva Danyarasana, however you want to call it. Before we get into it, let's warm up our backs in Salabhasana. So sweep our arms behind us. Inhale, coming up, holding. Get those feet off the ground, shoulders off the ground as high as you can. Three, two, one, and release. Mm. Rest that head to the side. All right, we're gonna go ahead, do Salabhasana and turn it into Dhanurasana, okay? Clasp those hands behind you. Inhale, coming up. Three, two, one, bend those knees. Dhanurasana. Holding three. Two. One. And releasing back into Salabhasana. Three. Two. One. And release. Turn your head to the other side. Resting here. You can rock your hips back and forth gently. 
placing your hands by your side, inhaling up, up dog, exhaling back into this child's pose. Coming to all fours. Now it's time for the real thing, guys. Let's do it. Let's do our Dhanurasana, Urdhva Dhanurasana. We're gonna start in bridge pose. We're gonna lift our bottoms off the ground, clasp our hands underneath us. Lifting here, holding three, two, one, and release. Let's do that again. Push it up. Three, two, one, and release. All right. Urba Danyurasana. Here goes nothing. Plant those hands on the ground, plant those feet on the ground. And we're pushing to our hands and our feet. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Head to the ground because we're coming back up. And push up. Five, four, three, two, one, head a little bit closer to your feet and your hands a little bit closer. One last time. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna try to stand up. Samas Titihi. All right, guys, you are Tartile. Let's go ahead, come to a low squat. We're gonna cool down. First off, let's come on Malasana. Slowly lower down to the ground. Using our core, lowering ourselves down to the ground. Taking that right knee to our chest, rolling in that ankle. Three, two, one, switch directions. Three, two, one. Cross that knee across your chest into the spinal twist. Holding for five delicious breaths. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Hands, that right hand, grab the right foot and half happy baby or extend it out. Three, two, one. Bring that knee back into your chest. Lower it down. Same thing, other side. Left knee into our chest. Roll. Three, two, one. Opposite direction. Three, two, one. Cross it across your chest. Spinal stretch for five breaths. And releasing. Grab that hand. Grab that left foot and that left hand in half happy baby or open out to the side. Four, three, two, one. Bring it into full happy baby. Rocking it slowly back and forth, massaging your back. If you need to open it out to the side, go ahead. Mm. Go ahead and lower those legs down to the ground. And it's time for your Savasana. You deserved it. Take three to five minutes here and just enjoy the practice that you just completed. Enjoy the way your body feels. I'm so glad you guys joined me in this practice today. I really hope you come back and meet me on the mat again. Namaste.